All right, welcome to No Brainer MMA. We're going to get right into this. I'm going to start um, with Cody Brundage versus Rodolfo Vieira. Rodolfo Vieira, 3-2 and two so far in the UFC, all three wins by sub. He's the former five-time ADCC champion, and like you'd think, he's got a very impressive sub game. However, um, like we saw last week with that Dan Hooker-Claudio Pellas fight, being like a high-level grappler like that can only get you so far. We've seen, like, who does? Paul Craig does it. Um... Ryan Hall does it like they're so grappling heavy that if a guy's able to stuff your takedowns, like you're pretty fucked. Vieira did show an improvement in his striking though, in his last time out against Chris Curtis, but he still has a minus 1.5 striking differential, but I was really surprised at how well he did on the feet, but he went over 20 for takedowns. So Chris Curtis was playing it extra safe in that fight. He really did had wanted nothing to do with uh, Vieira's like subs. Uh, he's taking on Cody Brundage, who's 2-1 and one in the UFC. He lost his debut fight to Nick Maximov, and I say that because I think Maximov and Vieira have a lot in common in terms of their fight style, both very grappling-heavy submission threats. And in that fight, Brundage was able to stuff 11 out of 15 takedowns, but still uh, still was controlled for over nine minutes. Uh, but he did win the third round. Maximov gas terribly, and R- R- Vieira gasses terribly, too. But uh, I really liked the improvements in Vieira's striking in his last time out. Uh, I thought that w- I thought that was really good to see, and he's just such a big submission threat. It gets a hold of your leg. The fight's like basically over. Um, so I'm gonna go with uh, Rodolfo Vieira in that one, and we're gonna move right into the next one. Which-